good morning all of you in this session i am going to explain about design of shops design of shops subjected to combined twisting and bending moment problems first of all you have to know the fundamentals about the bending moment and the twisting moment shops subjected to pure bending moment only when the shaft is subjected to bending moment only the maximum stress tensile or compressor is given by the bending equation already we know that uh, in previous subjects uh, from mechanics of all its subject already we discussed about uh, the simple bending stress simple bending equation Okay, m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r is the simple bending equation from simple bending equation you have to determine the value of bending stress okay so from equation m by i equal to sigma by, sigma b by y you have to determine the value of bending stress okay here capital m is the maximum bending moment capital i is the moment of inertia of a cross sectional area of the shaft about the axis of rotation okay about the axis of rotation now sigma b is the bending stress okay tensile or compressor stress y is the distance y is the distance between the centroid or center of the shaft to the outer surface okay so from this equation sigma b equal to m by i m by i into y that means m by i by y m by z equal to sigma b z equal to i by y okay this is a solid shaft this is a hollow shaft capital d is the outer diameter of a solid shaft here also capital d is the outer diameter of a hollow shaft and small d is the inner diameter of a hollow shaft okay now here k is the diameter ratio okay k equal to small d by capital d that means inner diameter by outer diameter is the diameter ratio okay now already we know that uh, sigma b is the bending stress bending stress equal to bending moment by section modulus okay that means sigma b from this uh, bending equation sigma b equal to m by z z equal to i by y okay z equal to i by y okay m is the maximum bending moment z is the section modulus okay now for solid shaft sigma b equal to 32 m by pi cube okay for a circular shaft z equal to section modulus z equal to pi cube by 32 okay now in similar way for a halo shaft sigma b bending stress in halo shaft equal to 32 m by pi cube into 1 minus k power 4 okay section modulus for a halo shaft is uh, pi d cube by 32 into 1 minus k power 4 where k equal to small d by capital d inner diameter by outer diameter okay so these are the important formulas to be de to determine the its bending stress bending stress induced in the shafts okay so in design of so in design of uh, our problems in design of uh, shafts we have to use the following procedures okay this is the example problem here a pair of wheels of a railway wagon carries a load of 50 kilo newtons 50 kilo newtons on each axle box each axle box acting at a distance of 100 mm outside the wheel base a gauge of the rails is 1.4 meters find the diameter of the axle between the wheels if the stress is not to exceed 100 megapascal okay this is the given question so uh, here from this diagram from, from given diagram you can observe the distance between two wheels is 1.4 meters and 50 kilometers 50 kilonewtons is the load load acting on the axle okay at a distance of 100 mm from each wheel okay so here rc and rt are the two reaction forces okay 
from given question, first of all, you have to identify the given values. Okay, the load acting on the each axle is uh, W equal to 50 kilonewtons, one kilo equal to 1000, so 50,000 newtons is the load acting on each axle and capital L, capital L equal to 100 mm, okay. That is the distance between the wheel and load, okay. From here to here, the distance is 100 mm. And from here to here, the distance is 100 mm, okay. The load, the distance between load and wheel is 100 mm. And the total, sorry, the distance between two wheels is 1.4 meters. And here, from given question, you can observe the maximum bending stress is 100 megapascal, okay? So here, sigma b equal to 100 megapascal, 1 megapascal equal to 1 newton per mm square, okay? 1 megapascal equal to 1 newton per mm square. So these are the given values. From these values, you have to determine the sortable size, sortable size of the shop, okay? Sortable size of the axial shop, okay? Here, from the from this diagram, you can observe the maximum bending moment. The maximum bending moment acts on the wheels at point C or at point D. Okay. So you have to determine the maximum bending moment at point C or, ben, or at point D. Okay. So for determining the maximum bending moment, you have to use formula W into L. That is the load into distance. So here the the load is 50 kilometers and the distance between the load and the point is 100 mm. So W into L. Okay, W into L equal to 50,000 into 100 mm. Okay, so that is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of 6 Newton mm is the maximum bending moment. Okay, 5 lakhs. 5 lakhs is the maximum bending moment. Okay. Let uh, small d is the diameter of the axle, okay? So here you can observe, here from here to here, this distance is L, okay? This distance is L. Here also the distance is L. Okay, this one is X, okay? From this diagram, you can observe the maximum bending moment will occur at point C or at D. Okay, here the load is symmetric. The load is symmetric. So the bending moment at C and at D, both are equal. Okay, the maximum bending moment at C and D, both are equal. So you can determine the value of maximum bending moment from this value 15 newtons force into distance. Here also 15 newtons force and distance is 100. So uh, the bending moment is same at point C and D. Okay, so this is the maximum bending moment at the C or D. Okay, from from uh, equation bending stress bending stress equal to Bending stress equal to bending moment divided by section modulus. Okay, so bending stress equal to maximum bending moment m divided by z. Okay, this is the formula for bending stress, and also you can write this equation as uh, maximum bending moment m equal to sigma b bending stress into z section modulus. Okay, you can write this. Uh, bending stress equation as a bending moment equal to bending stress into section modulus. Okay. Now this is the M, M equal to 5 lakhs. Okay. And sigma B equal to 100 mega Pascal from given data and Z for uh, solid shop. Section modulus for solid shop equal to pi d cube by 32. Okay. Already we discussed earlier. So section modulus for circular shop uh, for circular shafts, z equal to pi d cube by 32. Z equal to let a small d is the diameter of the shaft, then pi d cube by 
add it by 32 is the formula for z section modulus okay now you have to substitute the value of m z and sigma b in this equation you can get the value of uh, diameter of the axle small d okay the suitable diameter of the axle is uh, 80 mm okay this is the answer for this question okay simple answer okay now coming to the another problem a pump lever rocking shaft is shown in figure the pump lever exerts forces of 25 kN and 35 kN concentrated at 150 mm and 200 mm from the left and right hand bearing respectively. Find the diameter of the central portion of the shaft if the stress is not exceed 100 MPa. Okay, this is the given question and the given diagram is this one. Okay. From this diagram, you can observe uh, here there are two point loads. That is, uh, first one is 25 kilonewtons, and the other one is 35 kilonewtons. Okay, here there are two supports at uh, point C and D. Okay, here the distance between uh, bearing A, this one bearing A and bearing B. So the distance between bearing A and the support c is uh, 150 mm and the distance between support d and bearing b is uh, 200 mm okay the distance between two supports c and d is uh, 600 mm okay first of all you have to convert this diagram into forces diagram okay after that you can get the value of suitable diameter of the shaft okay from given question, first of all, you have to identify the given values. Okay, here uh, the bending stress is given. Maximum bending stress is 100 mega pascal, so sigma b equal 100 mega pascal. That R A R B are the support reactions at uh, bearings. Okay, A and B are the two bearings. So the reaction forces will will consider at supports at bearings. Okay, now this is the forces diagram. Okay, you can observe at A is the reaction force RA, at B also reaction force RB, at C and D are the loads. Okay, 25 kilometers and 35 kilometers. Okay, this is a force diagram. Okay, from this force diagram, first of all, you have to identify the maximum bending moment. Okay, so First of all, uh, you have to determine the unknown values. That is RA and RP are the two unknown values. So first of all, you have to determine those two values. Okay, for determine the reaction forces, you have to consider moments, sum of all moments about point A. Okay, take moments about point A. Okay, RA into distance zero. Moments means uh, force into perpendicular distance. Okay, so R A into zero distance, R B R B into nine fifty distance. Okay, thirty five into seven fifty seven fifty distance, twenty five into one fifty distance. Okay, with respect to A, twenty five kilonewtons acts at a distance one fifty mm. Okay, with respect to A, thirty five kilonewtons force acting at a distance of 150 plus 600 distance okay with respect to point a the reaction force rb acting at a distance of 950 mm okay in similar way ra reaction force passes through a point a so there is no distance between ra and point b okay so the value of ra is zero okay so rb into 950 mm 35 into 750 mm 25 into 150 mm okay take clockwise uh, clockwise moments as positive and the clockwise moments as negative okay so from this equation rb rb equal to 31.58 into 10 power 3 newtons okay so after getting the value of rb you have to substitute this rb value in other equation that is uh, from sum of 
vertical forces R A R A R A plus R B R A plus R B take upward direction forces as a positive sign, downward forces as a negative sign. Okay, so here twenty five newtons plus. Uh, Okay, this is the equilibrium condition. Okay, sum of all vertical forces equal to zero. Okay, so we have to substitute the value of R B, R B in this equation. You can get the value of R A. Okay, from this equation, the reaction force at R A equal to twenty eight point four twenty ten power three newtons. Okay. Okay, after getting the reaction forces R A and R B, you have to determine the bending moment at A, C, D, and D. Okay, already we know that uh, at as for simply supported beam, for simply supported beam, at supports the bending moment is always zero. Okay, for simply supported beams, bending moment always zero at supports. So bending moment at A is zero. Bending moment at B also zero. Okay, so bending moment at supports always zero. So you have to determine the bending moment at the point C and D for determining the maximum bending moment. Okay, so bending moment at C for getting the bending moment at C, you have to multiply this reaction force R A into distance. Okay, so R A into 150 mm is the moment of force with respect to point C. Okay, so moment of force about point C equal to R A into 150 mm. So the bending moment at C is 4.263 into 10 power 6 newton mm. Okay, in similar way, the bending moment at point D, bending moment at point D is equal to force R B into distance 200 mm. Okay. Bending moment at D equal to R B force into distance two hundred mm. Okay, R B into two hundred mm is the bending moment at point D. Okay, R B value is a thirty one point five eight in ten power three. Okay, you have to substitute that value. The final bending moment at point D is six point three one six into ten power six newton mm. Okay, so from these two values, from these two values, you can observe. This one bending moment at point D is maximum. Okay, from these two values, you can observe the maximum bending moment will occur at point D. So this is the maximum bending moment value. So you have to consider this this value as capital M. Okay. So maximum bending moment uh, M equal to six point three one six into ten power six newton mm. Okay, for determining the suitable diameter of the shaft, you have to consider this maximum bending moment. Okay, it is very important. Now, let uh, small d or capital D is the diameter of the solid shaft. Okay, already we know that uh, bending stress, bending stress uh, sigma b equal to m by z. Okay, sigma b equal to m by z. Here, capital M equal to six point three one six in ten power six. Sigma b, sigma b equal to Hundred megapascal. Okay. Now Z Z is the section modulus for solid shaft. Section modulus Z equal to pi d cube by thirty two. Okay. This is the final formula for bending stress. Bending stress for uh, solid shaft. Okay. Substitute the value of uh, sigma b and m value in this equation. You can get the value of uh, diameter of the shaft. Okay. Sigma b equal to hundred and m by Z. Okay. Here hundred equal to m is equal to the m equal to six point three one six into ten power six. Here eighty six point three mm is the suitable diameter of the solid shaft. Sorry, friends. Ten uh, power six. 
this one value is 10 power 6. Okay. So, 5 to by 32 is the section modulus and 6.316 into 10 power 6. 10 power 6 is the maximum bending moment. Okay. So, this is the final diameter of the shaft. D equal to 86.3 mm. Okay. Now coming to the another example. An axle one meter long supported in bearings at its ends carries a flywheel weighing 30 kilonewtons at the center. If the stress is not to exceed 60 megapascal, find the diameter of the axle. Okay. So this is the axle. This axle is supported by two bearings. Okay. Now let's consider this uh, this problem as a simply supported beam problem. Okay. Now A and B are the bearings. That means supports. Simply supports. You have to treat bearing supports as a simply supported beam. Okay. So the flywheel weight, you have to consider self weight of a flywheel as a load, point load. Okay. So point load at C. From given question, uh, this flywheel load acts at, at midpoint. Okay. So the total distance between two bearings is uh, one meter. So one meter equal to thousand mm. And here the distance between point A and C is 500 mm and the distance between point C and B is 500 mm. That means uh, it is a simply supported beam carries a centrally, carries a point load at the mid span. Okay. Here from question, the length of the beam L equal to 1 meter and the load on beam equal to 30 kilometers equal to 30 into 1000 meters. Sigma B is the bending stress. Okay, bending stress is 60 megapascal. One megapascal is 60 newton per mm square. Okay. Already we know that for simply supported beam carries a point load at the mid span. Maximum bending moment M equal to WL by 4 is the standard formula. WL by 4 is the standard formula. That means uh, bending moment at C. Bending moment at C is the maximum. Bending, mo bending moment at C is the maximum bending moment. So you can get the value of maximum bending moment by, by uh, multiplying this reaction force Ra with respect to this uh, distance 500. Ra into 500 mm is the bending moment at point C. Okay. That Ra value, reaction force Ra value equal to half of the load. That is 15 kilonewtons. Okay. Ra equal to 15 kilonewtons. So 15 kilonewtons into 500. Okay, 15 kilonewtons. So here, maximum bending moment M equal to force Ra, Ra into distance 500. Okay. So this is the maximum value. You can also use this formula or this formula. Okay. Here yeah, the value of Ra equal to half of the load that is a 15,000. So 15,000. 15,000 is the reaction force at point A into 500. Okay, into 500. Okay, this is the maximum bending moment M. M equal to 7.10 uh, power 6. 7.5 into 10 power 6. Okay, this is the maximum bending moment at point C. So, by using uh, this maximum bending moment, you can get the value of suitable diameter of this solid shaft. Okay. So, already we know that section modulus for a solid shaft uh, that equal to pi cube by 32. Okay. Now, already we know the formula for bending stress, sigma b equal to m by z, sigma b equal to m by z. So, substitute the value of sigma b and m and z values in this equation. You can get the value of diameter of the shaft. Okay, d equal to 110 mm is the 
required diameter of the shaft. Okay, this is the answer for this problem. Now, shafts subjected to combined twisting moment and bending moment. When the shaft is subjected to combined twisting moment and bending moment, then the shaft must be designed on the base of for two moments simultaneously. Various uh, theories have been suggested to account for the elastic failure of the materials when they are subjected to various types of combined stresses. The following two theories are important from the subject point of view. First one is according to maximum shear stress theory or GUS theory. Okay, you have to use uh, this theory for determine the suitable size of the shaft when shaft is subjected to combined twisting and bending moment. Okay. First of all, you have to determine the value of equivalent twisting moment, that is TE. TE is the equivalent twisting moment. Okay, TE is the equivalent twisting moment. Equivalent twisting moment value is equal to square root of M square plus T square. M is the maximum bending moment. T is the twisting moment or torque. Okay. First of all, you have to determine the value of uh, TE. Okay. After that, you have to equate this value to the this value. Okay. Pi d cube by 16 to tau is the formula for torque. Torque for solid shock. Okay. This formula is uh, used for solid shock. Okay. Torque for solid shock. Torque t equal to pi d cube by 16 to tau. Okay. Now, for uh, in similar way for hollow shocks, you have to use uh, this formula. Equivalent twisting, twisting moment for halo shaft equal to square root of m square plus t square equal to pi by 16 root tau into d naught cube into 1 minus k power 4. d naught is the outer diameter of the halo shaft. k is the, the diameter ratio. k is the diameter ratio. Okay, that is uh, inner diameter by outer diameter. Okay, k equal to inner diameter d i divided by outer diameter d naught. Now, second theory is uh, according to maximum principle or normal stress theory. That is the Rankine's theory is the second theory to determine the suitable diameter of the shaft. For uh, solid shafts, uh, you have to consider equivalent bending moment. That is the ME. ME equal to square root of ME equal to 1 by 2 into M plus square root of M square plus T square. Okay. First of all, you have to determine this value. Okay. After that, you have to equate this value to the this one. Okay. This formula is obtained from a bending equation. Okay, m sigma b equal to m by z equation. From that equation, uh, bending moment m equal to pi d cube by 32 into sigma b. Okay. So you have to use this formula for uh, solid shaft. Okay. In similar way, for halo shafts, you have to use this formula. For determine the diameter of the shaft. Okay. Equivalent bending moment. Equivalent bending moment for a hollow shaft equal to half into m plus square root of m square plus t square equal to pi by 32 into sigma b into d naught cube into 1 minus k power 4. Okay. D naught is the outer diameter of the hollow shaft. Okay. These are the important formulas to determine the required diameter of the shaft. Okay. Design of shaft on the basis of uh, Twisting moment and bending moment. According to maximum shear stress theory, these are the important formulas for solid shock and hollow uh, shocks. Okay. In a similar way for a uh, hollow shock, sigma b equal 32 m by pi d cube is the solid shaft, bending stress for solid shaft, tau is the shear stress for a solid shaft, 16 t by pi cube, okay. So you, you have to substitute the value of uh, m and t in this equation. For a halo shaft, uh, k equal to inner diameter by outer diameter, sigma b equal to 32 m by pi cube of 1 minus k power 4, okay, d naught cube is the outer diameter, k equal to inner diameter by outer diameter. Tau is the shear stress for halo shock 16 t by pi d pi d naught cube into 1 minus k power 4. Okay, you have to observe these two formulas and these two formulas. Okay, equivalent twisting moment for halo shaft 
is uh, T equal to square root of M square plus T square equal to 60. 5 by 16 into 2 into D naught cube into 1 minus K power 4. Okay. According to maximum principle or normal stress theory, this is the formula for uh, maximum principle stress, sigma B max equal to sigma B by 2 plus uh, half into square root of sigma B square plus 4 tau square. Substitute the value of shear stress and bending stress values in this equation. For solid shaft, sigma b equal 32 m by pi d cube, and uh, for shear stress, uh, tau equal 16 t by pi d cube. Okay, d is the outer diameter of the solid shaft. Okay, now we have to substitute these two values in this equation. Okay, so 1 by 2 into 32 m by pi d cube plus 1 by 2 square root of 32 m by pi d cube whole square plus 4 into 16 t by pi d cube whole square. Okay, after substituting, you, you can get the value of uh, bending the stress for solid shaft sigma p max maximum principal stress okay now equivalent bending moment for solid shaft is me equal to half into half into m plus square root of m square plus t square equal to pi by 32 into sigma b into d cube okay In similar way for a halo shafts, for a halo shafts, uh, D naught is the outer diameter, DI is the inner diameter, K equal to DI by D naught is the diameter ratio. Sigma B is the bending stress for a halo shaft, 32 m by pi d cube into 1 minus K power 4. Tau equals 16 T by pi d naught cube into 1 minus K power 4. K. Equivalent bending moment for a halo shaft to me equal to half into m plus m square root of m square plus t square equal to pi by 32 in sigma b into d naught cube into 1 minus k power 4. Okay, these are the important formulas to design the shaft. Next class, I will explain uh, simple problems on combined bending moment and twisting moment.